George Clooney and Brad Pitt joined an all-star cast to support one of this country's most divided social issues. Californians voted in favor of Proposition 8, thus rewriting the California state constitution to add a ban on marriage for gay and lesbian citizens. Following a sold-out night on Broadway last September, the West Coast premiere reading of 8, a partially dramatized recounting of the federal district court trial's closing arguments, which ultimately led to the August 2010 overturning of California's controversial Proposition 8, took to the stage at Los Angeles' Wilshire Ebell Theater Saturday night, while a worldwide audience tuned in via a live streamcast on YouTube. If I didn't stop going, I, I wasn't going to survive. What did you mean by that? Um... I would have, I would have probably killed myself. As you sit here on the stage tonight, and you hear the words being said, and you see them on the page, do you ever sit there and go, I'm not in America right now, this oh, can't be it. Completely. When, when you had a doctor on, on, the, the, on the stand saying that if we legalize gay marriage, the next thing that we're going to legalize is, is, uh, is child molesting and, 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 and polygamy, I mean, that's insane, absolutely insane. I can't believe someone would actually say that or think that. You believe that after the Netherlands legalized same-sex marriage, the Netherlands went on after that to legalize incest and polygamy and... I mean, who told you that, sir? It's in the internet. 45 years old, I don't think I'm anything other than gay. What happened? Oh, didn't we just progress? Didn't we move from 1950? Haven't we evolved? As, as, a, as a nation, as a people, why are we so afraid? Why are people so afraid of gay people? Why are people so afraid of women? It, it's, it, it is baffling to me, it really is. And, and yet the fight has to be, we have to wage on, we have to keep fighting because there is prejudice and there is hatred and most of all there's a lot of fear. And I think that's what it's about. And if people could just realize there's nothing to be afraid of, it's about love. It's about, you know, if, if we're talking about hatred between two people, Maybe be a little afraid. Yeah. This is about love. It's a no-brainer. Penned by Oscar winner Dustin Lance Black and directed by Rob Reiner, the purpose of 8 was to use actual testimony to expose the fear-based rationale the proponents of Prop 8 used to convince the voting public to pass the measure in 2008, to the point where it became almost comedic. Witness the exchange between Clooney's David Boyes and John C. Riley, portraying a traditional marriage expert and star witness for the Prop 8 side. You said that you were basing your analysis on the work of highly regarded scholars and then you say okay oh a gotcha moment <laughs> i use the word i'm a transmitter of findings of eminence scholars. gotcha no that's okay. not a gotcha okay. i'm just trying to <laughs> okay what i found uh, heart, uh, heartening and and hopeful was that the fact that these people it was revealed that the other side of this issue not my side of this issue have absolutely no argument legal earthly or otherwise uh, why uh, gays and lesbians can't be married. They, they were caught so much with their pants down and their ignorance and the ridiculous kind of arbitrary moralizing of their, their argument was just laid bare and that I loved. And I'm glad that we got to see those words and hear those words tonight and that there were 200,000 people on YouTube watching the live stream. Paul Katami and Jeff Cirillo got to watch their story from the front row and know that not everyone who tuned in online is going to appreciate Hollywood taking up their cause. I'm sure the comments are already flying up on YouTube now. Oh, it's liberal Hollywood. It's liberal Hollywood being liberal Hollywood at its best. What do you say to those people? Is it really a case of walk a mile in my shoes and then see if you say the same thing? I would just say, I would say to them, take liberal out of the equation. Take conservative out of the equation. It's not liberal, conservative, Democrat, Republican. It's an American issue. It's about an equality issue. And if they need to understand that, that these rights are inalienable. They were, they were granted to us when we were born in the United States. And if there was their rights being put up to a vote or their rights, rights being infringed upon, I would hope that they would expect the same thing from the courts that we did, to step in and write it. Though never specifically mentioned during the reading at any time, 8 is all about that prolific line in the Declaration of Independence, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. For the handful of people whose past four years entailed enough drama to warrant mention in 8, those three inalienable rights will likely only finally be recognized with a Supreme Court ruling. It does, cut it. it does not cut it when you're taking away the constitutional rights, basic human rights and 
human dignity from a large group of individuals. You cannot say after the fact, we are going to take away the constitutional right to liberty, privacy, association, and sexual intimacy that we already tell you you have. That is not acceptable. And it's not acceptable under our Constitution. And Mr. Blankenhorn is absolutely right. The day we end that, we will be more American. Thank you. Eventually, the case will, I think, go to the Supreme Court. That's the final um, uh, place for this to be decided. And it will be. And I think, historically, Mr. Boyes and, and uh, Mr. Olson will win there. And, and, this, and, you know, in the future, who knows how many years or decades from now, uh, people will look back and say, what was the big deal? Why were they so frightened? Presented by the American Federation for Equal Rights, eight is being licensed to colleges and community theaters for free for the next year in the hopes that it will spark dialogues, understanding, and action. In Los Angeles, Scott Edwards, CBSNews.com.